Visual Basic, uh, or VB, is a programming language from Microsoft for using the basic programming language. Created in 1991, Visual Basic was designed to be easy to learn and use. It simplified the process of developing graphical user interface applications for Windows, making programming accessible to many new developers. Visual Basic has been around for many years and has evolved significantly from its original version. Let's explore some basic Visual Basic code. Here's how you'd write a simple program to display Hello World on a message box. In this snippet, module is a container that holds the code, submain is the entry point of the program, and misbox is used to display a message box to the user. Now, let's look at a simple function to add two numbers. This code defines a function add, which takes two integers as arguments and returns their sum. In the main subroutine, we call add and display the result using a message box. Visual Basic's simple syntax and robust set of tools provided by the Microsoft ecosystem makes it a decent choice for those looking to develop Windows applications or delve into Microsoft's .NET framework. Over its lifetime, developers and the wider tech community have held various attitudes towards it. Many find Visual Basic easy to learn and understand. Its syntax is considered English-like and readable, making it an approachable entry point into programming. Visual Studio, the primary development environment for VB.NET, offers a powerful suite of debugging and development tools, making the development process smooth. VB.NET seamlessly integrates with other Microsoft technologies, which can be particularly advantageous for development within the Microsoft ecosystem. Older versions of VB before the .NET transition sometimes give VB a reputation as being outdated, especially when compared to newer languages and platforms. Some developers feel that VBNet is more verbose than necessary, especially when compared to C-style languages. Earlier versions of VB were sometimes criticized for not being as performant as other languages. While VB.NET improved on many of these issues, the reputation lingers for some. Within the .NET ecosystem, C Sharp has become more popular than Visual Basic and tends to receive new features and updates faster than VBNet, leading some to believe that VBNet is a second-class citizen in the .NET world. With a strong focus on Windows desktop application development, VB faced challenges adapting to the increasing demand for web and mobile application development. Microsoft's transition from classic VB to VB.NET was a significant change, introducing object-oriented features and aligning VB with the Net platform. This transition had mixed reviews, with some appreciating the modern features and others bemoaning the breaking changes. Attitudes towards any language, including Visual Basic, often depend on individual experiences. While VB may not be as trendy as some newer languages, it still has a place in certain development environments and remains useful for some scenarios. As always, choosing a programming language should consider the requirements of the project, the preferences of the development team, and the long-term maintenance and scalability prospects. Are you a fan of Visual Basic? Tell the rest of us in the comments about your experience. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University. This next video will introduce you to C Sharp, a more popular language that has generally replaced Visual Basic. If you would like to become a software developer, consider joining me in class by subscribing to the channel.